Hannah Messier. Hannah's here now with our weather wise question. Our weather wise question is about 4th of July food. Let's take a look at the question. What is the most popular 4th of July dish in Iowa? Here are the options. Is it red, white, and blue pizza? Is it bratwursts? Is it baked beans or is it D, smoked ribs? I'll let you guys think about that. And we're going to take a peek at the Jump for Freedom event. That is Doc Dogs, a part of the Freedom Festival. It's going on today at Kingston Stadium in the Northfields from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Temperatures in the 80s for the event with plenty of sunshine. In events at Doc Dogs include Big Air, Speed Retrieval, and Extreme Vertical. Great forecast for heading off to view Duck Dogs. Your first alert has all green boxes highlighted on it. We're not expecting any impacts for today. Lots of sunshine mixed in with a few clouds in our Solon City Cam. A pretty calm, quiet morning with temperatures in the 70s. 71 in Cedar Rapids, 70 in Iowa City, and 70 in Solon with fairly light winds mainly coming out of the north around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here are those partly cloudy skies we're waking up to. Clouds gradually moving to the southeast. After the clouds exit the area, we'll have plenty of sunshine for the afternoon. That's what we see on pinpoint future caps with lots of sunshine as as we head into the second half of the day overnight tonight pretty quiet then Sunday morning waking up to sunshine highs today rising into the 70s and 80s 78 degrees in Fayette 82 in Taman 86 in Washington with that mostly sunny sky overnight tonight cooling into the 50s 50 degrees in Fayette 53 in Taman 54 in Washington with that mostly clear sky in terms of dew points they're gonna be in the 60s this afternoon so a little bit up there but then we'll see dew points drop for Sunday and Monday in the 50s before they rise again for Tuesday and Wednesday back into the 70s and those higher dew points indicating a chance for some storms. Now Monday looks pretty quiet but Monday night into the day on Tuesday some scattered showers and storms possible and Tuesday afternoon and evening some storms could become strong to severe potentially continuing into Tuesday night and another round of some showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder possible on Thursday as well for the 4th of July. However, still a few days out from the holiday, so make sure to check back for updates to the forecast. Could also see some chances for showers lingering into the day on Friday. Now the storms on Tuesday do have a chance to become strong to severe across parts of Iowa. This system also several days out, so make sure to check back. But right now, the timing looks to be later in the afternoon into the evening and overnight hours for the chance for some storms on Tuesday. In our long-term temperature outlook between July 6th and July 12th, warmer than normal conditions expected across the state of Iowa. Long-term precipitation outlook, the southern half of the state could be a little dry. Now here's our next several days in the 70s and 80s, 76 degrees on Sunday with that mostly sunny sky. Partly cloudy as we begin July. Overnight temperatures in the 50s and 60s. There's that chance for some strong to severe storms on Tuesday and with another chance, unfortunately, on the 4th of July. But you know what? First, we're going to talk about the lovely weekend and some delicious food that we can eat in the 4th of July. So, guys, what do you think the most popular 4th of July food in Iowa is? I'm going to say baked beans. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm in between bratwurst and smoked ribs. I'm going to go bratwurst. Actually, A. Red, white, and blue pizza. It's what? like a fruit dessert pizza. Oh, oh. yes. I Ma like, maybe I should have added the fact that it was a dessert <laughs> fruit pizza. Yeah, I have no, I've never heard of a red, white, and blue pizza before. So. You know, you also were making quite the face at the options on the weather-wise questions to start. So what do Pennsylvanians like to Well, eat? I was just surprised there was no hot dogs and hamburgers. Well, it's a, the bratwurst. Yeah, and the, it's different. But they're different, it's though, different than hot dogs. Yeah. It's normally what we do back home is just the simple hot dogs, hamburgers. So I was very shocked to <laughs> not see them on the list. But if you guys, if you need some cookout ideas, Stick with us at 8 o'clock, and we're going to have the TV9 4th of July cookout. Lots of familiar faces coming on to uh, give you guys some recipe ideas, so that'll be fun, too. I'm excited. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Hannah. Now, here's Scott with your morning spot.